congratulations on your purchase of the Home Right Painting System by PowerFlow. You now have in your hands the world's best painting system. And after watching this video, you'll know how to paint a professional job every single time. Now we're going to cover three areas in this tape today. First, I'll walk you through the basic painting system. Then I'll show you how to paint with it. And third, I'll show you just how easy, quick, and simple it is to clean up. So let's start out with our basic painting system. First, there's the quick painter and the paint pad head. Of course, there's the great paint stick handle. The roller assembly that attaches to the handle and the spatter shield. The fill tube and the paint can lid. For easy cleanup, there's the roller cleaner and of course that great three-in-one painting tool. Now you'll also find in your box your owner's manual. The manual gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the painting system. If you have an additional question, our 800 number for customer service is on the back. Now you can also use this number to get any of the additional accessories for your painting system from the product catalog. Now I know you're excited and you want to get painting, so let's get started. Before you start painting, it's a good idea to take just a few minutes to properly prepare the room. That way you're always assured of a good paint job. Now, the first thing to do, move all the furniture out of the room. If you still have a few pieces left in the room, put a cover over top of them. The second thing is to remove the electrical outlet covers and the switch plates from the walls. However, before you do, go to the breaker box in the house and turn off the breaker switch for this particular room. That way it's always safe. Now, HomeRite has made a great product that makes the next job really fast and easy. It's called Quick Mask. It comes in two versions. The first one is paper. The second one is a poly drop cloth. I'll show you how to use the paper first. Now, you use this when you want to protect your walls when you're painting the windows, doors, or trim in the house. It's got a built-in cutter right here, and the masking tape is attached to the paper. All you do, pull it out, Put the tape on the wall, and then just follow it right down along the window frame. When you get to the bottom, tear it off with that built-in cutter. Now, when you open this up, it's specially treated so that no paint can bleed through the paper onto the wall. Now, you'd also use this if you wanted to protect the door from any paint coming down when you're painting above it. All you do, let's pretend this is our door and just take it out to the edge of the door frame and cut it off. Take the tape, place it right on top of the door frame. Make a little crease right along here, and that will hold it in place for you. Now you've protected your door frame from any paint coming from above. The other version, I really like this. It's the uh, poly drop cloth. They put the masking tape right on the drop cloth, so it really makes it easy. You use this to protect your floors. All you do, once again, pull it out, place the tape right in the corner, and pull it across. Taping as you go. This really makes it fast and easy to protect your floors. Now, when you get to the end, just grab it and twist. That way it cuts right off. Now we're ready to spackle and clean the walls. Now you use a spackling compound, which you can get from any hardware store or paint store, to fill things like nail holes and cracks that are in the wall. That way you always have a good looking paint job. Here's a couple of nail holes in the wall. This is called Painter's Nail Hole Filler. It's a great new product used to spackle those holes. It's actually got the spackling compound right inside the tube and a handy applicator tip. To use it, all you do is put it right up against the hole squeeze, and press. That fast, it completely cleans it out and fills the hole. Pretty neat, huh? Now, if you don't have this, you can use your three-in-one painter's tool. This is the spackling knife. And just take any spackling compound, put it on the knife, and use that to fill the hole. Now, you still may have to sand it just a little bit to make sure it's completely smooth. And you know, most people don't even have to wash their walls. 
All you have to do is dust them, get the cobwebs out. But if you have real dirty walls, take the time to go down to the paint store. They'll recommend a really good cleaning solution for you. And then you're ready to paint. So let's get to it. The first job you do before you paint the walls is what the professional painters call cutting in. And that's where you're going to paint the wall right next to the window frame, next to the ceiling, the door frame, the baseboard, and the corners of where the walls come together. Now to do that job, you're going to use the quick painter. Before we load it with paint, let's make sure that the quick painter nozzle is on tight. Here's how you check it. All you do is pull down on the handle, press the trigger. Do you hear the air release? That's your signal that tells you the quick painter is working perfectly. I'll do it again. Pull down on the handle, press the trigger. Now, here's what it sounds like if that nozzle is not on tight. Pull down on the handle. When you press the trigger, you don't hear anything. So that tells you that you have to tighten this up, make it snug. You don't want to over tighten it, just make it snug. Pull down on the handle, press the trigger. It's working perfectly. Now you're ready to load the quick painter with paint. You want to dip the tip of the nozzle about a quarter of an inch into the paint can. Then pull back on the handle. And what that is doing is loading the quick painter with the paint. When it comes all the way up to the end, push the handle all the way down, take a rag, and wipe off the end of the quick painter. Don't press the trigger until you put the paint pad on top. Now the quick painter comes with a paint pad. All you do is slip it over the nozzle and give it a quarter turn. Okay? Now this paint pad also swivels so you can put it in any direction that you want so you have the trigger exactly where you like it. Now, one more thing before we start painting. When you pull the paint out of the paint can, sometimes you'll get a little bit of air in this chamber. So hold the chamber upright, take your cloth, put it right next to your paint pad, and just tap the trigger. You want to hear the air release. It's called burping the quick painter. Hear that air release? Then all you do is keep pressing it, and you'll start to see the paint come out. Now you're ready to paint. There's two plastic wings on the side of the paint pad. That's what you're going to use for your guide so that you can get it right next to the window frame. So just put it right next to the window frame, tilt the top of the paint pad in so that it touches, and that'll give you a perfect cut in all the way down. Press the trigger and start painting. Just pull straight down. And then just push the trigger when you need more paint on the paint pad. Keep it flush against the window. And you take it all the way down to the end. Now you use that same technique to paint underneath the window, the baseboard, around the door frames, and right up next to the ceiling. Now, we've got a great accessory that you can use to get right into the corner where the walls come together. And it's easy to change the paint heads on the quick painter. All you do is unscrew it and attach the corner pad. To load it up with paint, just press the trigger. And now you're ready to paint. Just push the corner pad in, into the corner and pull down. Press the trigger. And that fast, you get your corner done. Now, if you have to go back, it's easy. Just go back in and go over it, and you get that corner. Now, I've got one more accessory I want to show you that you use with the quick painter, and that's the paint brush. Use this to paint the windows, the door frames, and the trim. Now I'm going to finish doing the cutting in, and then we'll be right back to finish painting the room.
Well, as you can see, I finished cutting in around the windows, doors, and the frames with the quick painter, and now we're ready to paint with the paint stick. Now, when you get your paint from the paint store, make sure that it's thoroughly shaken and stirred, and then just pop off the lid. Now, your kit comes with the universal paint can lid cover. It fits on every standard one gallon paint can. It also has a filler tube. You take the filler tube and place it right in the hole in the paint can lid and press it all the way up till it's firmly seated. When you put this down inside the paint can, it's gonna go straight down into the paint all the way to the bottom. That way when you're drawing the paint out of the can, you'll be able to use every single drop of paint in the paint can. It also keeps this rim really clean. So when you put your lid back on the paint can, you don't have that spatter that you generally get when you hammer it down. Okay, all you do is put it together, place it right down inside, and pop on the lid. Now you want to make sure that your fill tube is standing up straight. If it's cocked over this way, just break it up straight just like that. Okay? Now all you have to do is put together your paint stick. You've got the handle and the roller head. Place the roller head inside the handle and tighten the nut. Just hand tighten it. You've got a two-way valve right here on the handle. You want to place that valve right on top of the filler tube. Push down firmly until it's all the way down to the bottom. Put your foot on the paint can, and then all you have to do is draw the paint out. Now, you notice how I've got it sitting on the filler tube? I don't have it bent this way, and I don't have it bent this way. Just want to have it setting there like you're, you know, doing the floors. Pull back on the handle, and you'll start to pull your paint right into the paint stick. Just fill it right up. Remove the paint stick. That valve automatically snaps shut, so there's no dripping. Go over to your wall, the first thing you want to do when you start painting with the paint stick is to prime the pump or to prime the paint stick, okay? We want to force the paint up through the roller frame into the roller head. To do that, you put your hand here and you push the paint and it'll start coming out. Just roll back and forth. That'll give you a good feel too for how the paint stick works. And just keep pushing. Now can you see the paint starting to come out? That means we've just about loaded the roller head with all the paint. Push a little more, and we're ready to paint. Now it's going to take almost a full load of paint the first time to fill the paint head. Go all the way down, like that. Now we're ready to do non-stop painting. All you have to do is refill it. Now remember, it's as easy as one, two, three. One, place the valve on top of the filler tube, press down until it's firmly seated all the way down. The paint stick will actually just stay right there at the per perfect angle for you. Two, pull back on the handle. Now remember, it's designed so that you don't have to be down here for bending. You can do it standing up. Just pull back and that draws the paint right out of the paint can. Three, lift it off. Snap shut, you don't have to worry about it dripping. Go back to your wall and just keep painting. Now, while you're applying the paint to the wall, if you push the handle and you put too much paint in the roller head, you'll start to skate around the wall. That means you've got too much paint in your roller head. So just back off on the handle and keep painting. If you have too little paint in the roller head, you'll see it'll start to streak, like right here. So all you have to do is just push on the handle and add some more paint. Now the nice thing about your paint stick 
is that you don't have to paint your wall the old-fashioned way. If you have a regular roller, you have to paint in W's and V's and then fill in. Not with the paint stick. Now when you get into the corner, you can turn it over. You don't have to worry about the valve being up or down. And that way you can get right into your corner. Keep pushing in on the handle. That brings more paint into the roller head. And that way you get your one coat coverage. Now, they do have an accessory that comes with it that's going to help you painting right up next to the ceiling and for doing your ceiling. It's called the splatter shield. It fits right on the end of the roller head. Attach it here. Then on the other side, bring it so it comes right down against the metal part. Then just push down until it snaps into place. Now this is adjustable, so you can put it in any direction you want. Now I'll show you how you use it when you're painting your walls and you're getting right up next to the ceiling. Because generally when you're painting the wall, it's a different color than your ceiling. So you don't want to put this color up into the ceiling. So all you do is put the spatter shield on and go right up next to the ceiling. That will protect it. You can also use this as a guide when you're coming next to your window frame and your door frames. Bring it right over next to the frame and use that as a guide to go all the way down. You can also use the spatter shield when you're painting your ceiling. Just turn it this way, and now you can paint the ceiling without ever getting any paint down on the floor or on you, okay? Now let me show you how to put the paint back into the paint can. Take the valve, place it down on top of the filler tube, and instead of pulling the handle out, you push the handle in. That puts all of the paint right back into the paint can. Remove the handle. Now remember, with your paint stick, you've got that mini paint can in here. So there's still paint inside the roller head. Here's how you get it out. Put your thumb right over the valve and pull down on the handle. That pulls whatever paint was in the roller head into the handle. Turn it over, place the valve back on the filler tube, push the paint back in. That way we've not wasted any paint. Now I've got a few more rooms to finish painting in the rest of the house, and then I'll show you how easy it is to clean up. Cleanup is never a problem, whether it's the paint you start with or the paint you finish with, Home Right has made it easy. Watch. Starting right here with the lid and the fill tube. They're made of a plastic called polypropylene. That means it's non-stick. That means the paint can't stick to it. It's a snap to clean up. All you do is take off the cover, take out the fill tube, and put it right down into the water. Just let it soak while we do the rest here. Now take a look at the well around the outside of the can. There's no paint in it like you normally get when you paint. It's another great idea that they have. That way when you put your lid on, you don't have to worry about splatter. Now, let's take the rest of the paint off of our paint stick. We've already emptied out the handle. We've emptied out the roller. Now use your handy painter's tool, put it around the top, and then all you have to do is just push down. Watch. It strips the paint right off. In just that fast, you've gotten just about every drop of paint out of the roller head. You don't waste any paint when you use the paint stick. Now all you have to do to clean your paint stick is fill up a laundry sink. You can use the bathtub, a kitchen sink. If you're working outdoors, you can use a bucket. All you do is submerge it right down into the water, right up to the valve, and pull back. That fills up with water. Just clean it out two or three times, and that fast, you'll have your paint stick clean. Once we flush through the clear water into the roller head, all we have to do is finish cleaning it. Now, cleaning a roller head used to be a really big chore. As a matter of fact, some people even throw them away. What a waste of money. Look at this. 
Home Right has a cleaning ring that fits on any standard faucet. All you do is turn on the water. The water comes right out through the middle of the cleaning ring. Take your roller and push it right down through. And you're cleaning it. Isn't that great? That way we'll get all of the paint out of our roller head. You can use it over and over again. Now when you're done cleaning, turn off the water. Pop off the head and just clean the inside. Now talking about the roller head, here's something I want you to see. You see, this isn't a cardboard inside roller head. When you put those in water, they fall apart. This is made of a material called phenolic. It's really tough. You don't have to worry about this falling apart. You use the roller over and over and over. This painting system was designed to last. Take a look at the paint stick handle. Made out of ABS right here at the valve, that's a high impact plastic. And it's not glued onto the handle, it's spin welded. That's the same technology that they use when they weld the axles on your car. Look at this. The handle's made of a space age plastic called PET. Watch. Now that's 200 and well, don't worry about how many pounds, but you get the point. With proper cleaning, your paint stick is built to last you a lifetime. Now let me show you how easy it is to clean the inside of the roller head. All you do is take your thumb, put it right here on the end, and pop it off. Pull it out, and right here at the end, you don't want to use screwdrivers to take this apart. Just wiggle it apart like this, okay? After you've cleaned it, put a little bit of petroleum jelly or Vaseline right around that O-ring. Out comes your mini paint can. Clean that in the water. And don't use a screwdriver to pop off the end. Just take the power frame and put it right through and pop it out. Put a little bit of Vaseline there, too. To reassemble, all you do is just pop it on. Drop in the mini paint can, put this on top, the roller frame goes in and it snaps together. That fast you're clean. Now, also on your paint stick handle, there's two O-rings right here. You want to be able to keep those lubricated with Vaseline. Here's how you do it. To open this up, all you do is hold right here and grab here. Now you're going to pull back sharply, watch, and that pulls it off. Now, if it doesn't come off real fast and easy for you, all you have to do is lay it on the floor and walk on this ring. Now, the O-rings are designed to be a little bit bigger than the handle, so just make sure you get them in just like that and close it. Now, remember, if it doesn't come off easy for you the first time by pulling off the handle, just lay this on the floor, take your foot, and roll it back and forth. That'll help you get it off. You don't have to worry about breaking it. It's ABS plastic. Now we're ready to clean the quick painter. All you do is just run the paint pad under the water, clean it off, and remember that's made of neoprene so you don't have to worry about it soaking. Now we still have some paint left inside the quick painter. Just like the paint stick, all you do is press the trigger and the paint comes out, whatever's left inside. Isn't that great? When all the paint's out, to clean it, just stick it right down in the water, pull back on the handle, load it with water, give it a few shakes, and watch. The dirty water comes out. You do that two or three times and you're totally cleaned with the system. Now to finish cleaning the inside, all you do is unscrew the back handle and pull it out. Put a little bit of Vaseline on the O-ring here and the O-ring here and then put it back inside. Now to put it inside easily, all you have to do is press on the trigger and push it in. Screw it together, you're done. You see, you don't waste paint, you don't waste time, and you don't waste your money when you use the Home Right painting system.